morning guys, happy Sunday. So today, I have quite a few things to do. I'm actually right about to run out. I'm like kind of running late. Um, I need to go pick up my groceries. Um, and then I'm also picking up some clothes from this lady in the neighborhood. She's giving me some 3T clothes because I don't know what happened, but Landon just like grew out of, like overnight. Um, so I just went through all of Landon's old 12 month clothes and donated like a huge pile uh, for someone and someone's actually in the neighborhood picking it up. So karma, you know, do good, um, do good, get good, be good, I don't know. Um, but I just put all the 12 month clothes that I am keeping in the wash because Asher's right off to get 12 month clothing. Um, nine month clothing still fits him. And I also have some six to nine month clothes that still fits him too. But I want to kind of like transition some of the clothes out because he doesn't have a lot of nine month clothes. Um, he doesn't have a lot of nine month clothes, so just having the 12 month clothes already would be nice. And there's actually some 12 month clothes that he can like wear now, like shorts and stuff, which the outfit he's wearing today is 12 months. Lynn, Asher, come here. The outfit he's wearing right now is 12 months. Can you show your outfit? Like the shirt is like fits perfectly, the shorts fit perfectly. Um, and it's you might as well wear them all if you still can. Um, so yeah, <laughs> he has the hiccups. Um, but I have a list of things I want to get done today. So, and I actually got these notepads at Target for like three bucks. But yeah, I need to organize and clean Landon's room, organize and clean Asher's room. Their rooms are like disasters um, because they play in it, they throw clothes around and toys around. Um, and I have to get rid of Landon's 2T in 18 months because he's definitely in 3T now. All um, the 18 month in 2T is just short on him. There's nothing over there, Landon. I really want to rotate their toys around because um, they're starting to not play with certain toys, so I like to put them in bins and kind of put them away um, and then take out the toys that are away. So it's kind of like just new toys all over again. So I need to do that, I need to do laundry. I have to put away my laundry. I did my laundry last night, um, but I have to do the boys' laundry. Um, I'm getting my groceries. I have to go prep the groceries. Uh, I think tonight we're gonna make either stuffed shells or something. Maybe stuffed shells, I'm thinking. Um, I gotta, yeah, prep my groceries. And I also wanna make some egg bites for the week, just because Landon and Asher both really like eggs right now. And when I make egg bites, um, you know, just the egg cups, it kinda, it's just a quick meal to like warm up. You just warm it up for 30 seconds and it's good to go. Um, and yeah, so that's what we're gonna do today. Um, I like to organize my room if I can, but my room's not horrible, but upstairs is just, it's a war zone upstairs. It's just, so it's Sunday, so let's get things done. Hopefully I can get everything done on my list today. If not, then some of it will just have to go on to Monday, but you'll see it. Um, and yeah, you ready to go to the store? Ready to go get some groceries? It's been two and a half weeks since I got groceries, so we need groceries. You can bring that with you. You can bring those with you. Bring the Cheerios with you. So yeah, let's get going, all aboard. All aboard! So I did a quick list. So I just picked up my groceries, and when I checked out last night, it was two thirty-five, and it ended up being one. There was something that they didn't have. Some stuff they substituted. My groceries ended up being one seventy-six. So, and it says that I saved sixty-three dollars in savings. So, you guys know I always get items that are on sale. Um, or like coupons and stuff. And that's how I kind of like meal prep, like what I'm gonna have for the week or kind of like what I buy is in groceries. Oh, it's lighting. Um, so I'm surprised, I saved $68. Um, we got Starbucks, gas, we picked up the clothes, which I don't know, I mean, I'm thankful, but it doesn't look like there's a lot of shirts in there or at least like shirts that I, not that I like, but I like very like plain, simple shirts. I don't like anything like too, too, uh, too out there with like, I don't know. Boy clothes is just, tell me why like little girl clothes, it looks like literally like cute little girl clothes, but then all like the boy clothes, like it's just like all kiddish and babyish. I don't know, I don't, I don't like, I don't like that. Um, I literally love when Landon dresses like a little mini Cameron. It's like my favorite thing. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go home, put all these groceries away. Maybe I'll do a little grocery haul. Do you guys want a grocery haul? Do you guys want a grocery haul? I love watching grocery hauls. Okay, started on cleaning the boys' room. I don't know. I think I'm gonna start with doing at least a load of the boys' laundry first. And then, Asher's still sleeping and he's been sleeping for 
I think 45 minutes. When did I leave my house? I have stops. I'm out of red light. Um, I called my mom at 9.23, which is when I, like, when I left my house. So he's been sitting for almost an hour, so he's probably going to wake up soon. So try to do the organizing with two kids is going to be kind of tough. But we'll see how much we can do. We'll see how much we can do today. Um, worst comes to worst, I could do a lot more when they take a nap today. I'll try not my best. Ooh, I'll try my best not to nap <laughs> with the boys. I took a nap yesterday for 45 minutes by accident. I literally just closed my eyes and I ended up falling asleep. Um, but the weekends are the only time I can take a nap, and I'm just always exhausted. If I didn't know better, I would think I'm pregnant. But I did take a pregnancy test um, a couple days ago, actually almost a week ago because I thought I could possibly be pregnant. I haven't had my period this month. Um, so I'm kind of like, what the heck is going on? Like, where is this period? And um, I don't know, I don't have a period and it hasn't come. And I have the same IUD put in again that I actually got with my after Landon. And I got pregnant with Asher on the IUD. And I got the same IUD put back in because it's the only IUD that I can take because of um, it's non-hormonal. Okay, as soon as we get home, you can have it, okay, babe? I don't have any in the car, but when we get home, I promise. Um, so that's why I'm kind of like, ooh, like, could I get pregnant again? Like, am I a fertile myrtle? Like, what the heck is going on? But I did take a pregnancy test, and it was negative, and it was very negative very quickly. Um, but I don't know. Where's my period? I'm like, come on. And my husband's been gone three and a half months, which means that I would probably be like four months pregnant if I was pregnant. That's hella pregnant. And I'm, I don't look pregnant. I don't know. I don't, I'm not pregnant, guys. I'm not pregnant. Um, and if I was pregnant, I'd be so screwed. I'd be so screwed. all my groceries inside um and i'm going to instead of just showing you the grocery haul I, as i'm putting the light i'll just kind of show you guys what i got um but if you don't know i get click lists almost every week or every two weeks like i don't really shop in the store and they got me this I had a little goodie bag in there and it says um tackle um home gating like a pro and there's a bunch of like goodies in here there's um Smart food, uh, smart 50, I don't know, popcorn and sea salt. Um, there's, ooh, Kodak Cakes Crunchy oat Granola Bar. And then there's, this is what I'm excited about, I saw this. This is Mocha Iced Coffee. There's two of them in here. Oh, and this one's in vanilla. Yeah, baby. And there's also, ooh, a peanut butter kind energy bar. And that was so cool, like, that's just free! And you you know I love my coffee! Yay! I thought I was going to be cutting up some things, but I don't think I'm going to. Thank you. Okay guys, so this is Landon's room right now. It is atrocious. Don't... His bed is in my room. It's on the floor. Because he refuses to sleep in his room. And I'm trying to get him to at least just sleep in his bed throughout the night first and then move him back into his room. But yeah, I have to organize the drawers and then his closet is just, ugh. So, they're going down for a nap now, so hopefully I can get at least this like cleaned up and the drawers cleaned out, so let's, let's get to it. So I am going to be going through all of Landon's clothes right now. Um, I do have some 3T clothing. 
I just emptied everything out of the drawer. Um, that was 2T. Um, and I know I have some 3T in there, so I'm probably just gonna kind of pick and choose everything. Um, because there are some 2T that still fit him too, so I'm just not gonna completely get rid of the 2T. I'll probably move all like the 2T shorts into the closet for now. Because he, I mean, it's still short season here in Colorado. It's still pretty hot. So we will see what we can do with these drawers. Um, it's kind of like a nice way, like, so this shirt here, like this is 2T, but this still like fits him. Um, so I think I'm gonna like make a pile of all like the 2T that kind of still fit him. Um, and kind of just keep it to the side. And then like, I know 18, 24 months definitely does not fit anymore. I'm just going to put it in the basket to kind of, you know, separate everything. I just, he has so much sweatpants that I'm kind of sad because he won't be able to fit into any of these sweatpants. So, um, yeah, like this shirt still fits him. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to make a pile of clothes that's like 2T that still kind of fits him. Um, and then that way we can kind of just like focus on wearing those right now. Um, because obviously he's not going to be able to wear them soon. So. Yeah, and I have some Asher's clothes in here. <laughs> oh, man. Like, I have a lot of 3T. I know, like, his, like, jeans and stuff and, like, good pants I'm going to probably keep in the closet. Um, so, yeah, this is, this is going to be fun. But got to get through it because he just had a growth spurt out of nowhere, which is, like, crazy to me because he was literally, I just bought, like, some more 2T clothing because he, he's still in 2T. But out of nowhere, I'm telling you, like, these pants are high waters on him now, and, um, he's, like, just starting to not fit into anything, and I'm just like, what the heck, like, when did this happen? So, yeah. This should be fun. Alright, so I don't know how I'm supposed to make this work because my 9 month old just woke up and refuses to go back to sleep thanks to my dogs and now my toddler is not wanting to sleep and I just told him, I was like, you need to lay down because he only slept 30 minutes so this is going to be a fun day if my kids don't sleep. Who's that baby? Who's that? Actually, like this box of clothes that I had on top of Landon's closet that doesn't fit him anymore. 
and it really needs to go inside of a black bin, which you guys are sitting in right now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start filling up this bin. So yeah, out of this box, it's like 18 months and some 24 months. And then we're just gonna put it in this bin because soon it's gonna be your clothes. Yeah. Right? making him clean up. <laughs> Since he didn't want a nap, he's gonna be cleaning. You gonna help mama clean? Okay. And then you, he keeps taking clothes out of the bin. But I just filled his bin up with 18 months, 18 to 24 months, and then 24 months. So you have plenty of clothes when you get bigger. Huh? Yeah. And then I have a donate pile all over here. That I'm gonna be donating a bunch of clothes. Um, and then this is just two tea clothing that I'm just going to keep on top of his closet because I still have some two tea clothes in here still, like I said, like those shirts. And then I have laundry that has some two tea. So just to kind of keep all the two tea together, I don't want to start putting them in a bin and then whatever. So I'm just going to keep that in the closet so then I can keep putting more in here once I have it. Good job. Can you put that in the closet? In the closet. No, look, mommy filled it up already. Can you put those in the closet? Yep. Good job. As I mentioned before, I have a bunch of like toys that I actually start hiding away. Um, they weren't playing with it. So I'm out to actually switch out some of their toys in their room. Um, so yeah, like. pretty much good to go it's actually going downstairs um i just um this room i just kind of started throwing things in here this room i'll focus on tomorrow um, i gotta do the boys laundry but i think i'm just gonna wait till tomorrow just because it's 34 30 and i gotta start dinner um but we were just we've been playing um because like i said i took out all the toys and put up all new ones so now they're all excited and we were playing with toys and then we were facetiming daddy so yeah at least we cleaned up this room we organized the drawers so the drawers are all better um i can pull ups the diapers fit perfectly with pull ups so yeah i organized all the clothes he has plenty of clothes now i think i just need to get a few more basics like black, basic black basic white and a basic gray hi Ready to go eat? Um, and then yeah, so and then their closet. I have these bins just <laughs> um one of the toy bins is here, and then the 18, 24, whatever is in here. And then all of these are Landon's pants, wipes, it could be organized better, but and then extra shoes, and then yeah. So at least we're getting there, but we definitely have some more work to do. This is trash. I'm gonna put it in the Astros room, so whatever more trash I have, I can just put it in there. Um, I'll either do it tonight while the boys are sleeping or I'll do it tomorrow morning. Um, but we're gonna go make some dinner now because it's already 4.30 like I said and we normally eat around 4.45, 5. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so I was gonna make 
the chicken alfredo like stuffed shells but i kind of want to feel like alfredo like because we just had like alfredo sauce the other day with pasta so i think i'm gonna make barbecue chicken tostadas um so that's what i think i'm gonna make i have some shredded chicken i have some barbecue sauce Hi. i don't know And I have some, I only have Mexican cheese, which is fine. I'll just do that. But hi, basically, hi. hi. Why don't you go finish painting? I'll watch. So you just take your tortilla, which I have these little flour tortillas. This is like the fajita style um, size ones. I'm just going to make only two of them because Landon will probably just have straight barbecue sauce. Um, so I'm probably going to do like two of them just on a sheet of foil with some olive oil on both sides and like So basically, I take my tostada. I ended up kind of leaving it in there um, a little longer than I was supposed to. Um, I did cook it on a low broil for like three minutes, I think. So I'm just poking holes, just kind of deflate it a little bit. Um, and I'm just going to place the chicken on the tostada. Honestly, you can make this to your liking, so you can add more or less. Um, purple onion would be really good on this, too. I honestly just don't feel like cutting up an onion right now. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to put that there. I'm just going to add just a little bit more barbecue sauce. gonna top it with some cheese and I'm just gonna bake it for a few uh, I need more cheese. and then I'm just gonna bake it for a few more minutes we have it this is the finished look oh, it's gonna be so good mmm so good so while the boys are eating their dinner right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and start making some of these egg cups. Uh, I'm just going to do like nine eggs. I'm just going to add some jarred salsa, some shredded cheese, and then a few handfuls of this um, ham. So basically, I'm just going to end up putting them into some... So I have this, it's super easy just to flip the egg out after. So I'm just gonna spray this and then pop this in and then bake it on 350 for about like 25-ish minutes. Um, you'll know when the egg's done, but I say it's about 25 minutes.
So I cooked them a little bit longer than I should have. I probably could have done a little bit less time, but that's okay. Um, so I'm just gonna let these cool off really quick and then I'll pop them out. Um, and I'll show you guys, it's really, really easy. And then you just store it. You can freeze them if you wanted to as well. I'll probably not just because this is like one, two, three, three-ish days. Yeah, like three days worth. Now I just want to go through my list and kind of see what I've done, what I still have to do. Or oh, stuffed shells. I'm just going to cross that out because we end up making the tostadas. Cross that off. Groceries. Prep food. I don't really prep anything just because I don't really have anything to prep. Laundry. I don't really get to do the toys. I got to half the toys. Um, I'm going to organize the toys upstairs. I still have to do the ones downstairs and then the one in the basement. But that's like, at least I did the ones upstairs because that's the one that's been driving me crazy. Um, laundry. Did half. Egg bites. I did it. Organize Lana's room. Um, so tomorrow I just have to organize and clean Asher's room. Same thing. And then the laundry. And that's it. So I pretty much did everything else, which is awesome. So, yeah. I'll have to do Asher's stuff tomorrow just because I can't do that stuff when they were awake. Because, like, <laughs> Asher, I was, like, putting clothes away. Asher's taking them back out of the bin and then out of the drawers. So I'll have to do that during nap time tomorrow. Or maybe I'll do it tonight, depending on how I feel. Um, so I guess I'll just do that tomorrow too. Tomorrow's Monday, so I'll just make another to-do list and kind of just go about my day. So, yeah, um, I think I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this get it all done with me, kind of. This is going to be a long video. Um, uh, so if you guys are still here, um, say, if you guys are still watching, comment down below and let me know that you're still watching this. We are super close to 650 subscribers, and I'm, like, so excited. Um, I'm really hoping, maybe, possibly, maybe, speaking to an existence, we would hit 1,000 by the end of the year. And if we do, I plan on doing a little giveaway, a mini giveaway, once I hit 1,000. Um, so, yeah, I'm super excited. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. I will remembering for once.